Yesterday was the first day of the Back to School Clothing Blitz at Kerr Street Mission, a three-day initiative where clients are choosing brand new clothes for their children. Interestingly, this started off when I was watching the news on what was happening with the Ukrainian families and how they were leaving the Ukraine without their husbands with two and three kids in tow uh, and with a very small suitcase and a handbag. And I thought there was such a need out there that some of these families would end up in Canada. And I wanted them to feel a part of the Canadian landscape and to have the help they needed. Louise started purchasing brand new clothing online. Her husband David said she just started ordering and ordering and ordering. As it grew, we thought, well, this could be quite significant, you know, and uh, the war continued. And then we thought, well, there are also other families in the community that could benefit from this. So we thought, well, why don't we think about a back to school clothing blitz, try and coordinate with Kerr Street Mission to have it around you know, late August, early September and so forth. The number of families that we know need to utilize secondhand stores um, and particularly this past year when inflation is skyrocketing, rents are skyrocketing, groceries are skyrocketing, um, families really struggle to be able to provide those brand new items for their kids to go back to school. In the end, AMJ Campbell donated a moving team to transport the 57 wardrobe boxes that Louise had filled with more than 4,000 items over nine months. And one day, one of the ladies who was taking my orders said, why are you buying so many clothes? I, I can see your orders. And she said, you know, when I was in grade one, my father was disabled and I had nothing to wear to school. And she said, this teacher went out shopping for me and put boots and shoes and clothing into a bag and, you know, handed it to me. And she said, 40 years later, I can't tell you what a difference I thought that made in my life. I think for so many of them, it just provides dignity, right? To be able to send their kids back to school in something that's brand new and not something that's from a secondhand store. Um, we do pajamas every Christmas and the number of families that can't give us a size because they're buying from secondhand stores and there's no tags in the clothes that they're um, providing for their kids. And to be able to just be presented in such a beautiful way, the number of families already this morning that have mentioned just how well organized it is, um, what a great experience it's been for them to come in and shop one on one with somebody and to have such amazing and cute things available for their kids. Wanting the best experience for the clients, Louise in fact ironed every item in the room. And if, you know, this can send a message to people that, you know, there's a huge need in our community and I'm retired now so I can make a difference. It's, it's been an exciting time to just be able to see the joy on people's faces as they've been walking out of this room. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.